Hey everyone, Brendan, aka Cliff Jumper. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are dealing with something that is common to anybody who lives in an area where you might have rodents who like to chew on things under the hood of your car. Yes, indeed. I went out to go drive the VR6 Corrado and it wouldn't start, which is weird because she usually starts. We did just do a fuel repair and I thought, well, maybe, maybe the repair didn't hold and the fuel is just not coming through and maybe it's leaking all over the ground, looked under the car and there was a wire dangling down that had obviously been chewed through by a rodent and it was the knock sensor, the brand new knock sensor that we just installed a few thousand miles ago. So I'm not about to let that just fall by the wayside and buy a brand new one. I'm gonna see if I can repair this one. Now, I know some people who are familiar with car tech, such as sensors, will say, if you repair a sensor wiring harness, you stand a pretty good chance of altering the signal and it might not be in spec anymore. Fortunately, we have the Bentley repair manual. We know what to test for as far as the ohms and the resistance. So we're gonna go ahead and do the repair, solder that sucker back together, rewire it, and see if it's back in spec. If it is, then great, I saved 130 bucks. And if it's not, well, I lost a little bit of time while I tried to monkey with it and fix it. So let's see how we do on this repair. So the other half of this sensor is straight down from here underneath the exhaust manifold. So I'm gonna to try to reach it from the other side, see if I can unbolt it without having to take out all of this stuff. And that'll give us the opportunity to try to repair it. And if the repair does not go well, then we will replace it with uh, yeah, a new one. But since this was brand new when I installed it last year, I'd like, I'd like to keep it in there. And maybe we can wrap it and protect it from rats somehow. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to try to show you where this sensor is. So if you swing around back behind the engine, down between the firewall and the engine block, if you look at it with a mirror, you should be able to see it. I'm just dropping my GoPro down there. You should be able to see it against the back of the block there. And it's, uh, yeah, so it, it definitely takes some effort to get your hands, it is a blind reach to get it off, but it should just come right off. All right, so all I'm gonna do here to, to fix this wire is I've, I've cut off the part that got chewed by rats and I am gonna use some flux to tin the cables. I've marked which cable, because they're both white, uh, so I know which one is which on both sides, and I can make sure it's continuous contact. So I'm gonna tin both. I've got small lengths of heat shrink that I'll put over the individual connections, and then a larger length of heat shrink to go over the whole thing when I'm done. So right now, just uh, tinning the Connections, I'll solder them all up. I know there are people that don't like to use solder where there is heat involved, but um, I have not found that that has really been an issue. So this, this is a good, clean way to repair such things rather than using crimp connectors, which I do find there are reliability issues with. Now that I've soldered them, I will add the heat shrink to the individual so I don't forget that. And of 
course, I forgot the big piece of heat shrink that I was going to put over the whole thing. <sighs> As one does. So I'll just cloth wrap it instead. Cloth heat resistant tape. Twenty minutes later. Okay, follow up on the Corrado with the a knock sensor repair that we were doing and I'm happy to report it was successful we were able to get that knock sensor resoldered uh, I put some heat shrink tubing back on it it passes the multimeter test everything is functioning as it should and it's back on the car the cars back on the road so yeah, it was annoying that those rats chewed through it. That's just one of the dangers of living in a semi-rural area where we do have vermin like that. But usually I don't have to worry about rats eating my car. I did this time. So we're worrying about the rats in other ways. And anyway, the car's working. I did not have to buy another brand new knock sensor because that was a brand new knock sensor that I installed on the car when I was doing a refresh just a few months ago. So it's good, the car's running, happy to report back. You can repair such things. You don't always have to replace broken parts. Sometimes you can fix the broken parts. So I hope that helped you out, maybe inspired you if you got something broken on your car, especially wiring. Wiring is usually repairable. So go fix it. We'll see you next time. Hit like, subscribe, and share, and all that fun stuff. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. And on that terrible disappointment, <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. We'll be back. <laughs>